Hello friends, this video on linear equations in one variable part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on this, let us try to solve a few more problems making use of linear equations. Question number 1. If you subtract 1 by 2 from a number and multiply the result by 1 by 2, you get 1 by 8. What is the number? So let us assume, now to solve these kind of questions, every time whatever you have to find, just assume that to be some variable. So let us say that this number is x. Now according to the question, if you subtract 1 by 2 from a number, that means x minus 1 by 2. And then the result that you get, you multiply that by 1 by 2. And then what do you get? The result of this entire operation is 1 by 8. So this is your linear equation. So this is actually x minus 1 by 2 is equal to this 2 will go on this side. So it comes to the numerator. So it is 2 by 8. So we can say x minus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 4. Or x is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2. So this would be equal to 1 plus 2, this would be equal to 3 by 4. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 3 by 4. Question number 2. The base of an isosceles triangle is 4 by 3 centimeters. The perimeter of the triangle is 4, 2 by 15 centimeters. What is the length of either of the remaining equal sides? So just a quick recap, what is an isosceles triangle? So it is that type of triangle where you have two sides equal. So if this is your isosceles triangle, this and this sides, they will be equal. And this is the base of isosceles triangle. So here in this question, it says that the base is 4 by 3 centimeters. So let's say this is the isosceles triangle and the base is 4 by 3. And the perimeter of the triangle is 4, 2 by 15 centimeters. Now, do you know what is perimeter? Perimeter is nothing but the boundary. So, when we say the boundary of the triangle, that would mean this entire length. So, let's say if this is ABC, so AB plus BC plus CA would be the perimeter of this triangle. Now, in the question, it is given that perimeter is 4, 2 by 15 centimeters, which would be 62 by 15 centimeters. So that's given. Now let us assume that the length of the remaining equal sides is equal to x. So let's say that this is x, this is also x because both of these are equal in isosceles triangle. Now as per our assumption, what would should be the perimeter of this triangle? The perimeter should be equal to x plus 4 by 3 plus x so x plus x is 2x plus 4 by 3. So as per our assumption, this should be the perimeter. But as per the question, this is the perimeter. So basically, we can say that according to question, 2x plus 4 by 3, its value should be equal to 62 divided by 15. Right? So here we can say that 2x is equal to 62 by 15 minus 4 by 3. So this would be equal to 15, this is 62, this would be 20. So that is 42 by 15. Or we can say x is equal to 42 by 15 into 1 by 2 because this 2 comes this side. So this would be 2 to the 4, 2 1 the 2. This would again be 3 5 the 15, 3 7 the 21. Or we can say x is equal to 7 by 5 centimeters. Therefore, we can say that each of these equal sides measures 7 by 5 centimeters. Question number 3. Two numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 3. If they differ by 18, what are the numbers? So here also, let us assume that the numbers are 5x and 3x because they are in the ratio 5 is to 3. Now 5 is to 3 could be anything. It could be 50 by 30. It could be 500 by 300. So it could be anything. But it will always be a multiple of 5 by 3. So therefore we assume the numbers to be 5x by 3x and then this x could be anything. 
Now, as per the question, they differ by 18. That means their difference. 5x minus 3x is equal to 18. So, this is our equation. So, from this we get 2x is equal to 18 or we can say x is equal to 18 divided by 2. So, 2 9s are 18. So, x is equal to 9. Therefore, the numbers would be 5x. That is 5 into 9 which is 45. And the other number would be 3x, that is 3 into 9, which is 27. So, 45 and 27 are the two numbers. Question number 4. Three consecutive integers are such that when they are taken in increasing order and multiplied by 2, 3 and 4 respectively, they add up to 74. Find the numbers. Now, let us say that the numbers are x, now, you can also assume the numbers to be x, y, and z. Now, here we are talking about linear equations in one variable. So, we should only try to involve one variable. So, in that case, if one number is x, what would be the other number? Now, read the question carefully. It says three consecutive integers. So, that means the next number would be x plus 1 and the next number would be x plus 2. So, let's say if one number is 5, the next number would be 6, which is 5 plus 1. The next number would be 7, which is 5 plus 2, in a similar way. Here, if one number is x, the next would be x plus 1 and the next would be x plus 2. Now, the question says that if they are taken in increasing order and multiplied by 2, 3 and 4 respectively. So, you multiply the smallest number by 2, you multiply the second number by 3 and you multiply the third number by 4 and then you add them all. So, this would be something like 2x plus 3 into x plus 1 plus 4 into x plus 2. So, when we add all of these, the result should be 74. So, this is my equation and now I have to find the value of x. So, from this we can say 2x plus 3x plus 3 plus 4x plus 8 is equal to 74. Or we can say, let's bring all the variables together that is 2x plus 3x plus 4x is equal to 74 minus 8 minus 3 or this is 9x is equal to 63 or we can say x is equal to 63 by 9 so this is x is equal to 7 so now once we have calculated x so what are the numbers so the three numbers would be 7 8 and 9 Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.